What's up guys, this is Anthony from Hawkeye Rides. I'm here today at Regal Honda in Lakeland, Florida. Matt has given us the redesigned 2021 Honda Ridgeline RTLE in the platinum white pearl. Updates to the interior and on the exterior. This is powered with your V6, 280 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque, paired with a nine-speed automatic transmission with shift by wire. Standard all-wheel drive, Honda's one-size, mid-size adventure truck fits all with an aggressive styling, 18 to 24 MPGs. We're gonna go over all the specs and details, starting now. Honda turning up the style with a more aggressive front fascia, brand new grille, bumper, hood, pretty much everything from the A-pillar forward has been redesigned. I like that they put the high gloss black polish and the Honda badging, nice and enormous. So it really sets a good tone. Because this is a truck, you want things to kind of flare out a little bit more. LED headlights for your low and your high beams. Also your fog lamps. Going down through here, I like that they added the high gloss black polish in between because it just matches really well with the top part of the fascia and the chrome badging over the top to give a little bit of a luxury touch. The height is 70.8 inches with a width of 78.6 inches. Ground clearance is around 7.6 inches. So you can tackle any adventure that you need. 18 inch dark gray alloy wheels, the brake disc reading at 12.6 inches in the front, 13 inches in the rear. You can opt for a flared out fender package. That's available through your HPD package, including new bronze wheels, side graphics to just make those fender flares look more aggressive, all done through the Honda Performance Development. Unibody construction, McPherson strut, front suspension, multi-link, rear suspension, both with coil springs and a stabilizer bar, weight distribution at 57.1 to 42.9, intelligent traction management, intelligent variable torque management, all wheel drive, or your IVTM4 brake actuated limited slip differential. Gloss black exterior underneath the side view mirrors caps, Otherwise, you're gonna get all chrome polish and then you get the high gloss polish in between. It does give a nice tone, a length at 210.2 inches, a wheelbase at 125.2 inches. In this setup that it has, it really gives a nice aesthetic. I do like the line structure that goes all the way to the rear with your wraparound LED taillights, new dual chrome exhaust outlets. And I like that they've addressed this because back in the 2020 model, they didn't have this aggressive setup and it really does sit a nice tone to any pickup truck. The minivan V6 powertrain max towing at 5,000 pounds. This is gonna be a little bit less than the Ford Ranger, but your payload is gonna be pretty good at 1,509 pounds. Dual action tailgate, which is the only in class. You can open it regular like this, or you can open it basically like a door for your vehicle. Going inside to your cargo bed at 33.9 cubic feet. Cargo length at 64 inches. The width is 60 inches. Height is 16.7 inches between the wheel well housing at 50 inches. A nice thing about this truck is you can fit a four by eight foot sheet of plywood flat on the cargo bed. Lockable bed trunk going inside to 7.3 cubic feet more. Front and rear parking sensors and your reverse camera. Honda Safety comes with collision mitigation, braking, road departure mitigation, blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, and your automatic high beams. Styling a tougher aesthetics to this iconic truck. You have your all-terrain with your all-wheel drive that's gonna tackle your snow, sand, and mud. It's gonna sit with a wider track and broader shoulders. This is not your typical mid-size pickup truck, but this is a more sophisticated and practical day-to-day -day use. Let me know in the comments what you think about the 2021 Honda Ridgeline RTLE as we go into the interior, go over the tech, and take this for our test. Entering inside this Honda Ridgeline, you're going to be getting 39.5 inches of headroom, 40.9 inches of legroom. 
black bucket leather seats. It's a 10-way power adjustment with lumbar supported included, two-position memory for the driver. The passenger is going to have a four-way power adjustment. Manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel, which I wish that this was power. However, it is what it is. Leather wrap. It is a heated steering wheel. Paddle shifters. Multi-function. Your gauge cluster is going to be an analog. And it does have a TFT display that's going to give you an array of information for the driver. Updated infotainment screen. Honda has said that this is improved graphics and screen icons. This is an 8 inch touch screen with navigation. You do have the pinch, you do have the swipe. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, HD radio, Bluetooth connectivity, now with a knob, which is something again that I complained about in 2020. So I like that it's not all touched to the interface. Also, your tri climate control. This is something that is really good, especially in the mid size pickup truck in the price point that we have, because most of the time it's just a dual climate control setting. You do have a moonroof as well. In here, you got a little storage tray for your cell phone, your wireless charging, 12 volt and a USB. Cup holders is efficient. You can fit a 16.9 ounce water bottle, no problem, a 20 to even 32 ounce cup. You got your shift by wire button structure, storage opening up inside, even more storage. You have a 12 volt and a USB and you can fit multiple tablets inside here. So if you're doing anything for your family or you're doing any construction, you can fit a lot of stuff. There's just a lot of storage in the front. The dash is completely flat, upgraded eight speakers. This is 540 watts. You're gonna have that dark gray and the high gloss black polish pretty much everywhere. On the elbows, soft for both sides. These are more or less like captain seats so you can adjust it the way you like. Door panel, one touch up and down for the front windows. No dual pane windows. Storage, you'll have two tiers. For the top tier, you have a cup holder and some storage. Bottom tier, more storage. You can fit probably six to eight 16.9 ounce water bottles, which is super efficient. And that's for both the driver and passenger. Let's check out the back seats. For the back seats, I'm at 38.8 inches of headroom, legroom at 36.7 inches. I have the seats in the position that I would be sitting and you can see Three adults, which we'll see, looks like we can fit relatively without any issues at all. I do like that you have a storage here, you do have the USB ports, and you have your air vents. Storage behind both of the front seats, cup holders in the center, area that you can put camera if you're a YouTuber. Elbows, soft on both sides. Door panel, another cup holder in an area for your smartphone. You have no more storage, unfortunately, other than that. So that is something that I do have to knock because it would be nice to have another cup holder integrated for both of the sides. Let's check out how I look in the center. Because the floor is completely flat, headroom is going to be the same. Leg room, I'm going to be grazing the front seats in the position that I would be sitting. However, you could fit three adults my size without too many issues. And even shoulder space, you might rub a little bit, but for the most part, it is wide enough. The seats do fold at a 60-40 split up, and that can fit a full-size bicycle. And the nice thing about the ridge line is I can feel the AC vents all over the cabin, not just in the front. And that's really nice because for a mid-sized pickup truck, that doesn't always happen. Taking this Honda Ridgeline RTLE out for our test run. One thing to note right off the top, it drives pretty much like a car. You're not gonna get a chassis that's gonna drive like an truck or an SUV it really drives smooth. I mean, you don't feel anything at all. No dual pane windows, super quiet interior as well. So the sound deadening is very good. Visibility, I can see pretty much every which way. And that's also because of the structure. It's a box shape, so it's very easy to see in the vehicle. As for breakage, it seems like when you push the brake, your foot kind of goes a little bit further than I would have anticipated for the size of this truck, being a mid-size that is. 280 horsepower, so you do have enough to push the throttle and get up and go. So I do like that. As for comfort in the seats, they're very roomy. The buttocks area is really wide. And I like that they give you the areas to kind of separate for your shoulders because it actually fits perfectly flush. So you can hold the steering wheel exactly if you're the height of me without any issues at all. If you're just driving it on a daily basis, you're not gonna have any problems because comfort is definitely there. You do have the adaptive cruise control and the lane keep assist. 280 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque, giving it some throttle, pushing the gas pretty hard. The engine gets really noisy, but it's a pretty smooth transition for the most part. It gets you to where you need to be. Car-like feel, not really like an off-roading, and that's because of the unibody construction. But I do like that. The nine-speed automatic transmission 
when you push the gas pedal, you have to really kind of push it down in order to get it moving along. Same thing for the brake. So that is something that I wasn't necessarily anticipating. However, it is something that you can get used to relatively easy. Turn radius for the vehicle is a pretty big truck. So we can't actually do a U-turn in a two lane road. I would recommend that you do it in a three, but just to show you what I mean, I'm gonna do it here in the middle of the road and you have to pretty much reverse it because it takes about three lanes. The good thing is the shift by wire is pretty quick so you don't have to worry about engaging any knobs. You just push the button and then you're back on your way because it is a little bit of a longer length at over 210 inches. It's pretty much why that is. But for the most part, I mean, it is definitely a practical everyday use car. It is easy to see. It's high enough that it stands a little bit more like an SUV instead of like a car, but it will throw you off a little bit if you're expecting to drive like an off-road vehicle because this does not have that feel to it. As for the sound, even when you're getting to a higher speed at your 40, 50 miles per hour, it still stays ever quiet inside the cabin. So these are definitely pluses inside this Honda. We're going to take this back to Regal Honda in Lakeland and go over the reverse camera, and wrap this review up. Switching to reverse, you do have trajectory and it does extend out as you turn the steering wheel. So it makes it very easy to reverse. I'd like to thank Matt here at Regal Honda in Lakeland, Florida for giving us this 2021 Honda Ridgeline RTLE for our car review. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Hawkeye community. If not, click that subscribe button. Check out the details, the merchandise, and everything we do here at Hawkeye Ride.